front-facing camera, incredibly thin, and we're starting to integrate these into uh, local computer facilities in a second. We've had over 35,000 downloads of our perceptual SDK, and what we're announcing yesterday and today is the availability of a new SDK, which actually includes both the front-facing and the rear-facing cameras available in the third quarter of 2014, you can see here, so just in a few uh, short months, we'll have a new SDK. Uh, the 35,000 downloads for the existing creative camera uh, SDK. So I thought I'd just spend a second and talk about this because uh, it is a little bit complicated. So again, the F200 is the 3D camera that's front facing for the usage models I talked about. It'll span from all in ones, you'll be able to see it integrated into all in ones up here, reference designs, as well as notebooks. It'll be shipping from the lead OEMs in the fourth quarter of this year. And then in the world-facing camera, or the tablet-facing camera, for detachables and for tablets, we're going to do a different camera. And you can see how much thinner this is for the tablet design. This is only 3.28 millimeters thick. And we'll have start, starting shipments and early market availability on this by the end of the year as well. So why don't we show you what is capable with these new designs, right? Uh, looks like what we have here is Everything we've shown up until now is kind of prototypes. This is the first showing of Dell's uh, production system that will be available with the 3D camera uh, user-facing integrated into that. Yeah, it's absolutely built in. You know, but as far as in being user-facing, you know, there's a ton of usage models that are excellent as well as gesture and gaming and being able to bring those together. But you know, let's talk a little bit about production here. And what we have is what feature called background removal. As you can see, I'm actually doing a QQ international video conference here with uh, some help with the and development from Personify. But as you can see, I have this great kind of, you know, no big video chat box around me. I'm not taking a path in your window. I can actually go ahead and collaborate. If you guys want to, this is a rear camera in case you guys want to know. That sort of thing. But, you know, as far as user facing, this is completely taking out the background extraction and giving us a really, really great experience. So to bring you up to speed again, we've had a Skype and Link announce support for this for uh, corporates. You can have a whiteboard behind it and have multiple people at the bottom. Uh, today we're announcing Tencent QQ video conferencing support for background extraction, and also Ulu, who has over 100 million video chat users, all supporting uh, this technology in the future. So let's move over to the world-facing camera, or the tablets, really focus on tablets and uh, two-in-one detachables, and let's see what we can do with the world-facing camera. Yeah, so for this little real sense, I've actually uh, we've gone out and created the video clip, which is really convenient for this form factor of tablet. But as you can see, I've gone ahead and uh, bring up my subject footage there. We're actually doing a little uh, movie footage that we have. And when using depth and information, here's actually what we can do on the fly. So you can see I can actually apply these live filters. Let's go ahead and put in the color pop as I select this region there above the hat. And uh, as you can see, I'm able to do this. This is something I recorded downstairs earlier. And I can go ahead and actually do this all in post-production because what I captured, all that information is available for me to use from now on. Pretty cool stuff, and I can go ahead and manipulate that in my heart today. So there's a lot more usage models you can see in our company tech booth, but in the interest of time, the last demo, I think we need a, uh, a contestant. So why don't we bring Herman on up here, and we'll see what we can do with yeah. the user facing camera. Welcome, sir. Yeah. Okay. Super. Thank you. Yeah. So Herman, I figure what we go ahead and do is get you started, and one of the great usage models is capture and share. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan your face, and we're going to maybe make some, you know, we can definitely make you an avatar, something we can post on Facebook, new generation of selfie. We want to make some Vermont action figures. Really, we want to get down to So we're going to be looking at so much. Awesome. Let's go ahead, and uh, we'll go ahead and give it a try. Go ahead and lean on in there. All right. Okay, and then we'll just start the capture. Three, two, one. And I'm going to turn his head to the side here really quick. Oh, hold on. Oh, well, that's because you have the beauty fire. However, 
I think we can go ahead and salvage this one. So while we're generating our uh, Haman Balahan doll and action figures, as you can see, we can bring these creations from digital all the way into the physical by doing it, you know, excellent 3D printing. As you can see, we have some Wooly action figures up here, of course. But uh, if we wanted to really get down to this next generation of action figures, we serve Haman to the Dragon Slayer. We'll do a little go ahead and do something around that. And let's go ahead and see what the final product is going to be. I can tell this top thing is just about to come up. All right. <laughs> so guys, as you can go to scan, if I have a few more moments, we did something that's a little bit more I could sell on eBay. But as you can see, oh, first so generation, <laughs> pretty action like I like that one. Not bad, Armand. Pretty yeah, cool. Next time, you can step up, then I do not even do it. Guys, you can go ahead and do the argument. You can go to that side. Probably want to show off real time snapshot, which would be uh, one of the great new tablet applications. Well, let's go ahead and move on up front. So again, like we showed before, Ramon, we have a couple of tablets up here, and now we're using this brand new this snapshot one. camera. That's the one right there. And uh, that supports fitness sound for six millimeter. So think about this. What that means for the trip and for phones. Okay, but as far as we have one of these great new Adam uh, Adam tablets. And it gives me all the performance that I use, the great new features of this camera, and also a great form factor to offer photography shooting. So when I go ahead and shoot my picture, I have an example like this, but again, captures all the focal data, every ray of light that's all available to me as I go into post production. So if I want to go ahead and focus in on that tire, if I want to go ahead and focus in on that guy in the back, we can literally change all of this and post to our heart's content. And that's going to give us a really cool experience. But we don't have to stop there. We can go ahead and pop out. And we have actually some measurements as well. So if, you know, everybody plays with the perspective in pictures. But if I wanted to know from one end of the stock to the other, it's exactly 7.15 feet. And I can tell that. So as far as the music model of never having to use my tape measure again, I could go ahead and lay out all the furniture in an empty room. I would be the master real estate agent with all of my properties. And, or even, you know, tell your guy the U.S. that he doesn't have the biggest fish contest in the world. <laughs> But as you can see, that gives us this great, great experience that we have like this. Why does you have such a device? No, no, that's the beauty of it, is that while I have one of these great RealSense snapshot enabled tablets, is that I can share that experience with everyone. So in this scenario here, we actually have a Windows Adam tablet. And if I was one of my friends, I could post this up to Facebook, and they could have the same experience. As you see, we're actually shifting through multiple areas of focus on this picture. But here's the deal. Anyone can go ahead and use that measurement once I captured it for them. And it makes them really jealous that they don't have their own tablet. So, so it means you don't you have to have one of those interface view sense tablets. You take that picture, and everybody else can use it. And all my friends can be jealous. Oh. I can't wait to get their own. Thanks that a lot. Is, that is good All right. Thank you. Using a front facing camera. Incredibly thin, and we're trying to integrate these into uh, local computer facilities in a second. We've had over 35,000 downloads of our perceptual SDK, and we're announcing yesterday and today the availability of a new SDK which actually includes both the front facing and the rear facing cameras available in the third quarter of 2014. Here. So just in a few uh, short months, we'll have a new SDK, uh, the 35,000 downloads for the existing creative camera uh, SDK. So I thought I'd just spend a second and talk about this because uh, it is a little bit complicated. So again, the F200 is the 3D camera that's front facing for the usage models I talked about. It'll span from all-in-ones, you'll be able to see it integrated into all-in-ones up here, reference designs, as well as notebooks. It'll be shipping from the lead OEM to the fourth quarter of this year. And then in the world-facing camera, or the tablet-facing camera, for detachables and for tablets, we're going to do a different camera.